the second uh, trend that comes to my mind which the cloud has enabled is scaling of ai scaling of ai across enterprises right today enterprises are looking to identify business processes that they can leverage ai for they are also building better responsible ai systems more ethical ai systems in this kind of a uh, uh, scenario what do you see the rise of ai how do you see the rise of ai impacting the industry and also what is the role that uh, you would uh, think the quality engineering organizations would play in validating some of these ai systems it, you know we we've also witnessed a, a, an increase in utilization of ai across the entire application life cycle i think what we initially found a few years ago was that ai and, and machine learning and and kind of cognitive automation was really being applied a lot in the, the testing and quality assurance space um what we've actually learned is that it's actually been broadened beyond that but you know spe specifically focusing more on the, the quality engineering side of things as i mentioned before on the automation side where test cases can be quickly stood up through leveraging a platform um, and an intellectual property that a provider, service provider can bring helps helps kind of quickly set up different types of stress testing scenarios to, to look at a variety of different aspects of, of risk and whether it's security, you know, data security aspect, performance of the application, um, or even kind of functional testing aspects. But you know the the advent of an, an application of AI more throughout the testing process helps organizations achieve the the kind of the, the three pieces of kind of what you you might view as a competitive differentiation where you're, it's better, faster, or more cost effective. Um, you know, leveraging AI helps organizations really speed up that delivery of of execution. Um, and also at the same point where machine learning is involved, it helps organizations be smarter in what they're going to test and how they're going to test certain certain aspects when code changes happen. Um, and if there's new new code and new functionality that's being developed, it's really trying to get a, a better picture of where that impact may lie and then try to a address that so that the 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 unknowns are really covered as part of the, the next step of, of testing execution. So you know that that's where we have seen more attention and utilization of AI and machine learning as part of the testing process. But it's just it's not limited to that. We've also seen it from the design aspect as well as requirements gathering, and also as something getting moved into a production environment to help ferret out where there could be potential defect issues and identifying those well before anything goes into a production application. Fantastic. Uh, that validates our own perspective in how we can bring. AI into the entire life cycle, uh, Pete. Thanks for those pointers, how you can employ AI to make it uh, faster, better, more cost effective, right? Control the risk. Absolutely uh, agree with you.